youtube.com slash simracetech Hello, this is Sim Racing Tech. My name is Peter and this is episode 3 and what I want to show you today is how to set up Motec with GTA 2. So, first thing you need to do is to get Motec and I want to show you here. I've got a Google browser here so I want to search for Motec to get the program. I'm oh, sorry, spell that right. And up pops the Motec website. And I'll select my region. And here comes the website of Motec. And I want to go to the download section. And I want to download software. So, in this uh, table of software here, I'm looking for the Motec i2 Pro software, and this is free, so I just click this here, and it will start downloading. Uh, and this will take a while. So, while this is downloading, I'll go to a DTR2 install here, and find the folder called user data in the DTR2 root folder and I'm going to look for the profile name of the profile that I'm using in game and in this case I'm using this PM profile and I'm going to open this folder and inside it will be a lot of different files for tracks I raised on some career data files and there'll be this file called my profile name .plr if you don't have the extensions enabled here, this will just say your profile name and depending on which one of these two you open you'll get different data but you'll see when you open them and the way to open them is just to uh, right click on them and say uh, either if you don't have them associated with anything either open or open with, I'm going to show you here to how to associate this, this is select programs from your uh, computer and then open it with notepad so what this has in it is um, a bunch of lines with settings for the game, even some settings that you can't set in inside the options menu inside the game. There's things like graphic settings and stuff you can't set in game. You can only set it by editing this file. So what you want to look for is where it says Motec, and of course the easiest way to do this is just to press Control F while at the top of the document, and then type in Motec and find that. So it says Motec here and it actually also says Motec block folder here. Now uh, these are the lines that we're going to be uh, concerned about. The first line is the acquisition version and you need to just leave that at zero. The acquisition rate is the frequency, uh, the number of times per second that uh, data is recorded. And you want to leave that at 10 if you want everything to work. You can set it higher if you just want some really uh, high uh, definition data on your uh, uh, springs or dampers. But a lot of other things will stop working if you set this higher. You also want to make sure that the acquisition in race is uh, set to 1 so that you got your data from every race that you've been doing to look at your setups and how you can improve those and you want to check that the data acquisition executable is pointing towards the folder where you're uh, installing Motec. Um, this is not really necessary, it's only to make the uh, red Motec logo button inside GTA 2 work so that that actually opens Motec, but if you got a short uh, cut on your desktop just use that and double click that instead. The data acquisition file is a library, an interpreter library for um, taking data out of GTR2 and writing it into Motec log files. Uh, this is just the way Simbit made it, so you should actually just leave this be. What's important is this Motec log folder. Uh, this has to point to a folder where you want your data from Motec to be, or from the game to be logged for Motec to read it from here. So this is where your files are going to be saved. Um, you need to, to be sure this is an existing folder and that's the right name. What I've done here is uh, I race on a team and we want to look at each other's data. So we uh, use a Dropbox uh, folder for this. 
so that every time you've been using and uh, erasing and generating data, it updates this and puts the data files into this uh, Dropbox folder so that everyone can share uh, data. And uh, what you want to do is set the minimum time high enough so that if you're just checking if a setting is just working by just driving a single lap and you don't want data on it, just see how it feels. You want to set this uh, as low as not to get these empty laps or, uh, or more, or less, more or less useless laps into your data. So I have it here set to 120 seconds, but you could set it higher. I'd recommend at least 120 seconds. And um, the MoTeC multiple logs is always supposed to be on one, because if you have this on, s on, on zero or off, it'll just write the same log and just rewrite that every time you've been out racing, and you won't have uh, the complete history of your setup, and you won't be able to compare your last uh, data with, with the new data from from this. So actually the way it works is every time you press drive and go out, drive a few laps and then go back to garage, when you press escape it writes the log file. Uh, so back to uh, installing uh, MoTeC. Now we have the install file here and I want to run that. And this shows up. And now because I already have uh, MoTeC installed it uh, says uh, that I should uninstall the MoTeC I've got now and install a new one, but I don't want to do that. Uh, what you need to do is uh, look at the installation folder where it wants to install and uh, put that into the executable file here. Uh, I'm going to stop this, yes. I'm going to close uh, the wizard here. And this is actually what you need to set it up. Now to, uh, to open a log file, of course you need to uh, start up your um, MoTeC program here that we just installed. We're going to click on this uh, plus icon, folder plus icon up here, and we're going to locate the folder with the data that we want. Now, depending on how much data you got, this can take a while, so it's actually a good thing to clean up your folder and delete old files when uh, you're done with them and you're not going to need them for analyzing anymore. Um, either back them up in a zip file or just simply delete them. So now we're waiting for the data to show up here. And here we got uh, different uh, sessions. I've been in a practice session here at Road America. Um, and to open the files, you just double click them and you can have open multiple files at once. I'm just going to open this one file and click open. And here we got the, the data of, um, of these laps. And what it does is it automatically selects uh, the fastest lap. And I can use this slide up here to view more or less data. So, that's uh, that's actually it for this episode. Now you need how now you know how to uh, open up uh, Motec to install it and how to set up GTR2 to work with uh, Motec. Hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye bye. YouTube.com/slash Embrace Tech.